Hello, how's it going today? Welcome to my live. Happy Monday. And uh, I was going to talk about something else. You might have seen that earlier, but I decided to dive into relationships. And that's because honestly, it was fresher on my mind. It was something that was coming through stronger. And I have this really strong commitment to showing up in what's relevant and what's truly on my heart instead of like some canned content that may or may not speak to you because from my experience, what speaks to you is what speaks to me. So I, I try my best to show up in full transparency and authenticity in terms of what is truly inspiring me right now. So I was gonna share a quick little story with you and I know uh, telling you and entitling this how <laughs> I don't even know what I said something about my three marriages Jackie Langland what's up chica is probably not very short right but I'm definitely not gonna go into all the juicy nor gory details about being married three times uh, but I do want to use it as a reference point so some of you that know me well may have known that I've been married three times and some of you who are just meeting me that might be news to you uh, so I'm going to share with you my perspective on it, on kind of divorce or just the, you know, the turbulence in relationships and how your relationship issues can actually be a superpower in your business. Hey Giovanna, make sure to say hello when you get here, you guys. If you're new to my live stream and we've never met, I'm Jaya Rose from JayaRoseCoaching.com where I am the visibility queen and I help you get seen for being you. So make sure to join my, have you guys seen my group? I changed the name again and I'm so excited and you can uh, click the cover photo that does not have the right name on it yet, but it's called the High Vibe Visibility Tribe and we're all about showing up in authenticity and sharing the real stuff, right? Our real selves because that is how uh, you cut through the online noise because what is everybody craving? Connection. Why did I get married three times? Connection. <laughs> Connection for the win, right? And uh, so what I want to do, let's see, I'm going to start at the end of the story and then I'm going to backtrack a little bit, okay? So what inspired me to talk about this is that I was having one of my moments and I'll share with you what my moments look like. I have this ability <laughs> I'll say, ability to want something. And I'm talking, specific, I'm just going to talk relationships today, okay? I have an ability to want attention from a man, my husband, um, really, really easily. Like that is such a comfortable place for me because I spent my entire childhood and then most of my adult life wanting attention from men, starting with my father. Can anybody relate to this? And what happens is we get so used to those patterns that they become so normal that everything in our life matches them, right? We all can relate to that. We, we have the same things come up in our relationships over and over and over again because we are open to them, right? And <laughs> so this, this particular thing happened where I was feeling kind of like needy, like I call it needy AF, and it was because I wasn't getting my needs met. So how many of you have a different love language than your partner? Do you know your love language? If you do, type it in the comments. My love language is words of affirmation. So I know that I need compliments. Any type of criticism is really hard for me. I don't know if you're on my email list, but I talked about the haters today. And it's just, it is harder for me. And that's fine, but ha that knowledge is power. So knowing what I need in my relationship, I need lots of that like juicy, loving words. So I don't know if you guys are saying anything, but I'm not seeing your comments come through if you are. So just know if you're saying something and I'm ignoring you, it's not because I don't love you, okay? There's my words of affirmation for you. Um, so that's the first thing, is really understanding how you need to be loved. But putting that into practice can be difficult. Can you relate? It's so much easier to blame and feel like a victim, right? And I can say quite honestly that that's what I was doing from in my first two marriages. I was really stuck in that wanting more and I was like so good at it that I picked men 
who didn't have my love language and that were like smoking weed all the time. <laughs> so it's not really, not really being present and showing up. Kim says, knowing what you need is truly helpful in all types of relationships. Kim, totally. So I have this pattern and yet I've worked on it so much, but it's still there, right? We, and that's why I don't really love the terms like busting through your blocks and all of that, because that's not really the truth. We don't just, okay, now we're completely different people. The best case scenario is we enhance that. And so how can you use that? Um, so I use this in my business, right? I'm not the visibility queen for no reason. I'm the visibility queen because I spent my entire childhood and adult life wanting more attention from my deepest relationships. So that makes me pretty darn good at knowing how to get and keep attention. And now I've made it something really positive for my life and my client's life and now your life too. Um, so I don't think it's about not having the issues anymore or busting through the blocks. I think it's about how can you really, one, have the awareness and then recognize it and then use it as your power. Hi, Talia. So again, welcome you guys. Make sure to share this video out. I'm just getting into the juice and the meat. If you have any girlfriends, who are in online business or entrepreneurs who have relationships and or want a relationship, pretty much everybody, um, let's let them in on this as well, okay? So, all right, so we were in the hot tub, right? My husband and I, hanging out in the hot tub and I started getting that little feeling and basically it's that little girl that says, you don't get enough attention, you want more, you know, he can't ever do it, which is a complete place of lack Am I really open to him turning around and saying, you, my dear, are the love of my life and everything you do sprinkles gold and fairy dust? You know, no, I'm not because I'm focused on what I don't have. So I recognize that, but that's where I was. And I started bringing it up. Like for me, I'm always like, I want more connection and I want like that juice that makes me feel loved. And instead of blaming him, and telling him how he did it wrong, which you guys have done that before, okay? <laughs> I did something really, really magical. And I got straight down to what, what is it? This is gonna make me cry. What is it that really makes me feel loved? And a million things, but one thing I thought of in the moment was, I wanna be told I love you. And me and my husband say I love you really often, but it's always me who says it first because it's my love language to express love verbally. So it makes sense, right? And can we fault him for that? That's not his love language. His love language is blowjobs. <laughs> or no, I mean physical touch. <laughs> so yeah, I know that's gonna be getting some laughs. So it's not like, would he tell me he loves me on his own? Probably if I never did it, but I always beat him to it. And so instead of blaming him for not being me, not being exactly how I want or, or me, I realized what it was I needed. And so I cut through all the crap and I just said to him, honey, I need you to tell me that you love me more often. And as it happened, I felt like it was a bit magical. And here's the next part is that in the past, and you guys tell me if you can relate to this, I spent all of my time in my other two marriages feeling pissed off at the fact that I would have to ask for something like that. Like to ask for my needs, I felt was some type of disservice or to myself. And in some way it was not really like valid. I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. Like it didn't count. Like it doesn't count if they don't just do it, right? And I think that's a really normal feeling, but the truth is, is that's not how humans work. And we all are working on ourselves and working out of our own personality type and our own history and all the masks, everything. And so he took it in and the past few days, he'll just say it to me. And I have to be honest with you, it's a little bit uncomfortable because I was busy not receiving that for a reason because that's part of my identity that I have to want it and need it and to really like make that change like that's busting through the blocks 
that's changing the story. That's rewriting the script. And it's just really amazing and it made me think about business and it made me think about that woman who was married two other times, like fighting for the love, wanting it so badly, but setting the situations up to be complete disaster because I didn't know how to ask for my needs. I didn't know I was worth having my needs met and I certainly wasn't open to receiving them being met. And I think it's just such a powerful testament to our businesses as well, that we, we want the success, we want more followers, we want more clients, we wanna make a bigger impact and a bigger income. And yet, are we really asking appropriately for the needs being super clear and focused and being open to actually receiving them? Because I know I never would have been where I am today if I didn't do all that personal development work that made it possible for me to laser focus, pinpoint what I needed, be able to ask my husband for it, and then actually receive it from him when he says it to me and not think that it's some watered down version of what I need because it's not his natural ability. And I just feel like it's so powerful. Kim says, I love how you're sharing how you've grown and embraced the reality of the situation. This is magical to my love, your soul self. Aw, when you realize how your soul needs ask and receive and not, then your message cuts off. Super sweet. So it is, it's really, um, you can't skip. You can't skip the phases that that take you from being in your story and that story that's not serving you anymore all the way to living that freedom life that is all about choice. There is not, there is no shortcut, but there is, a, it is possible. And it is, um, there is a formula, if you will, and I'll just share with you the very, very beginning phase of this for me was all about requirements. And when I was asked at my boot camp therapy, Couples therapy that I went to alone with other couples while my husband stayed at home. Just a whole nother story. And that marriage only lasted another six months at that point. But I started doing the work. And the work began with what are your requirements? And when I was truly diving into that work, it was fucking scary because you have to really step up to the plate and say, if I require this, that means I know why I'm worthy of it and that I am worthy of receiving it and that there's a consequence if it doesn't happen. So to live in that, you know, it really does make all of the relationships and we, we all know that business is built on relationships and a really good business is built on really good relationships. And I, I honor like all of that work in therapy and marriages and all of that because it makes it where to where I have this super thriving, strong foundation of a business and it's really about communication and relationships. So I just, I wanted to put this message out there because I feel like it's relatable, right? As women, we, we are sort of conditioned and trained to want more and we aren't conditioned and trained until now on how to open up to receive it and really stand in that power that says like, this is what I'm here for, this is what I want, and I'm a bad bitch, and I'm gonna get it. I'm getting it, right? Like I was shopping last night online and there was a shirt and it said, it was like big bold print and it was like, I'm getting money. <laughs> and I was like, I think I might buy that shirt, but I did not, um, but you know, I'm getting money. Because I just do, I feel like it's so powerful. It's just like, yeah, you know? I'm getting it and uh, I want all of you and all of my soul sisters to be getting it too, whatever that means for you. So uh, thank you guys for being here today. I hope you got some nugget out of this that spoke to you. If you got value, please share the video with your friends, fans, family, whoever you think might get value as well. And uh, come on over and join my brand new named The High Vibe Visibility tribe um although it says something different but you can click my cover photo to join and i'll see you guys in my next video bye